Gott! Detective Sackring, what's the story? Well, we got the call last night from a distressed neighbour. Said they heard screams, came over to check it out, and found her dead. Her name is Alice Cuthbertson, age 25, and it's presumed suicide. Alright, fill me in the details later. Oh, holy shit! It's a dead body, Briggs, get used to it. No, what? He's got an Armani watch? He's not been one of them for ages. That doesn't matter right now. All right, let's get forensics in. Briggs! You know, for once in my career, I'd love it. I'd love it if you weren't involved in my case. What are you talking about, sex? Think it. A girl was killed last night! You're a guy who sees things. A guy who hears things. And you're telling me that you know nothing. Sex, I, I swear. You swear, huh? How much is this information worth? I don't know anything. If I find out that you've been involved in any way, I'll find you. If you say you can do that, I'll fucking get out of here. You sure it's coming out of that? I took the bite, I took the pie. So the semen, I look like a bright sex pest all over the bar with an erection. I've got nothing else to care for anyway. I heard you were married. Why did you pick the job over the marriage? I had no choice. A couple of years ago, there was a series of murders where and she was a victim. Get that. It's so nice of you to come out tonight. So, I just need to do a piece on the guy that got arrested earlier this morning for public indecency. Wank. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing a piece on the police force and I just need to ask you a few questions. That's I can give you one answer. I fucking hate reporters. Okay, I can see that. Um But you I'll make an exception. Fire away. Good, uh okay. So uh how long have you been in the police force? Seven years. How's that working out for you? Good so far. Great. Uh, what got you started? Corruption, horse, money, and depravity. That sounds interesting. Um, so I'm guessing from your job being so busy, you don't have much of a private life? Time for you, I suppose. You know, you've been in my life so far. <laughs> oh, you flattered me. Um, Maybe you can make something of it. A few drinks, watch a game. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm coming a bit forward, just not used to questions like this. No, no that's, that's fine. You are, you are pretty, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I like the whole, the glasses and everything. Yeah. Like look. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Uh, so, sorry, you have to give me a second. Um, are you free tonight? I am, actually. Well, um, 
I'm gonna go and uh, I'll see you in five minutes. And off I Someone. She was walking on the street. She was a reporter. She wanted to know the, the ins and outs of the Merseyside Police Department, so I obliged. Give her an interview. It works. The thing is, back then, we had the same thing going on. The same cycle of murders happening time and time again. The same occurrences. Now this guy, Call himself the Drifter. You do killing, you drift away from each and every scene. I couldn't stop him. No one on the force could. So, here we are now. Same case, same investigation, same MO, same killer. But, in the middle of all that crap, all that grime, all that darkness, what remained is that little bright spark. It was my wife, my marriage. I held on to it for dear life. I loved her. No? I wouldn't have done anything for her. She would have asked me. I don't hear it. No more. No more of your fucking big mouth. I've had enough. Please sit down. I've had enough. Please sit down. You want me to sit down? Yeah. Zach, sit down now. I'll sit down. No, talk to me like you and me, not like a fucking dog. I'll sit down. Ow! Stop it. When I'm good and ready. Get off me and sit down when now. I'm good and ready. I don't understand why you've got like this. You're supposed to fucking love me, not treat me like a fucking dog. And be here. This is not funny. This is not, I don't understand how you. No! No, don't touch me! No, don't touch me! Love me! Thinking whole ball and chain shit, but hey, we lived out our lives quite happily for a time until the case, until the murders, and then it was, it was like a void, a hole in our marriage, it just wouldn't heal. Don't get married, man. It's bad for you. 
Wow, it's heavy solid. Chilami. Surprise, eh? What have we been up to these days, Papa? Huh? Just shining those asses on the beat. Don't miss those fucking pups. Huh? Sax, you got me all wrong. I'm clean now. Still stalking all those young girls? Huh? What did you take me for? I take you for a walk. Oh, 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 yeah. That's what I think. That's what do you think? I'm sorry. I'm not sure a guy like you wants to go back on stage with a black eye. What the hell was that for? I have my reasons. Now, back on the subject of drugs. I told you, Sax, I'm clean. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Tell me. I want to know. What's it worth? Sax Rain. Oh, you look nice. Thanks. Listen, I've got a gig. Ready for us later. Ooh. We're about. That's for me to know and you to possibly find out later. Now, come on. Hey. Not so fast. Where's my kiss? You know I work. Always on the fast lane. I'm guessing you could be my entertainment for tonight, you girls. What do you say, Katie? Let's do it. <laughs> Jeffrey, you're looking all over fucking lazy side for your ass. You homeless people do not make it easy. Who the fuck are you? I only go by sex. Yeah, well, guess what, Jeffrey? Sex is a little preoccupied. Yeah, well, in your case, so am I. Look, you know about Europa. I know you do. So just make it easy on yourself and talk. I don't know anything. You obviously fucking know about your open. I don't know. I'm not playing chart games here, Jeffrey. Yeah, well, neither am I. I don't know about it. Fucking tell me. I don't know about it. Look, I know you do. I will not afraid to pull this fucking trigger. I'm afraid to watch. The person you want is in another direction. Tell me what direction. I let you know. You ever heard of the revolution? Part of the revolution. Yeah, go in their direction. You're looking for stew. Gangster by their name. Thanks. Made it easy on yourself. I'll be in touch. Sax. Sax. Me and Samson are going nowhere. He doesn't support me. The way I want him to. He's not like you. Please just listen to me. What? What if I got like what? How can you be so cold hearted? After everything we've been through. In case you haven't noticed, I'm on a fucking case here, darling. 
I've got no time for this fucking sentimental bullshit. Sentimental bullshit? Is that all I am to you? Some old sentimental fool, little girl? I want to leave my husband to you. That's just fucking dumb, isn't it? I was a son. You told me that you loved me. When we was making love, you told I me. I told you, you not me. to take risks on me. I told you, didn't I? You also told me that you loved me, though. Wait, you're not fucking listening. Time after fucking time, didn't I tell you not to invest your fucking love in me? I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. You know? You know, I'm not. You're not getting it for your fucking skull. I'm not there. I'm just no romantic. Wait, wait, Carly, wait. Caffeine. There's a fucking corner shop around town, fucking Red Bull. Oh, you fucking funny with me. Tell me about Europa. What's this then, eh? Tell me about it. That's the drug, right? It makes you go mental, right? I think your legs sorted. Get rid of me that easy. 
Bring it. You may not have met me, but I certainly know a lot about you. My name's Aldo Reigns. We're related. Aldo. Mm -hmm. And you're up for a rate charge. You know how excited I am to do this, Sax? Who put you on my case? No one. Not yet. I'm the one who took it personally. So, where were you last night? 10 o'clock. Fine dining. Any witnesses? You and no. Hey, I'm not one to been interrogated there, Sax. Where were you? Like I said, I was out. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Sax a copy of the DNA results that shows that he was with Miss Carly. McCallum yesterday. His DNA was all over her gentle over here. That's in his rapes, my friend. You can't prove anything. As it may be, but we've checked out the restaurant. You left at half nine. So you say. So the team says. So, where were you at ten o'clock? Okay. All right, I'll buy you. I'll do. I met up with Miss Grimes, Carly, as you know her, and we postponed the meal. And then uh, I got drunk. I went home and I slept it off. Everything just a blur, was it? Too drunk to know where you were. How can you prove that you didn't rape her if you were pissed? I'm not the drunk in this family. I'm certainly 100% sober now. If you can't prove you didn't rape her, then how can you prove that you weren't there? <laughs> Sorry, did I say something funny? Of course, I knew that a rape charge is quite funny these days. This is all farce. You've come in here to scare me. There's no evidence that proves the contrary. You have nothing. This is all a scare tactic. I should know. You are family, after all. If I wanted to scare you, I'd put a gun in your face. If I wanted to scare you, I'd put you in the same coffin as your dead wife. No. I'm 100% serious. I mean, this is how it's going to go. You're going to tell me what happened. You're going to go to prison for a few years. And I'm going to take great pleasure in telling the judge how much of a prick you are. You can try. I will. And I won't rest until it's done. See, Sacks. I'm on the winning team. It only takes you to join me. 
raped her, didn't you? She said no to sex. That wasn't good enough for you. You pinned her down. You tied her up. You went for it. No. No, you got it all wrong. The DNA is so different. You raped her. You're going to prison. I didn't rape her. I didn't, I didn't touch her. I didn't lay a thing on her. You don't understand. Everything I'm saying is what occurred on the night, on the evening. Because it says told, different. I got drunk. I slept it off. Exactly. You were drunk. No, no you, 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 you've taken it in all wrong. You've taken it in all You were wrong. drunk and you raped her, didn't you? No. She's, she's got a husband. She's got a husband. Exactly. She said no. She didn't want sex. She loves her husband. No, no. So you raped her. No, you raped her, Zach. You no, raped her. No! No! You don't understand the circumstances of the situation. Now, back out while you still can. Enlighten me with these situations, sex. Right, okay. So she had a few marital problems, as we all do. You most. And, and. Her husband was a bit abusive. Maybe not giving her all the attention that she needed. What? You're saying she likes it rough? He thought raping her would be playing into her hands. You just like twisting things, don't you? You always have. Well, I want to tell you this. There's going to be a certain twist at the end of this tale. That's for certain. Bailiff! Take Sax back to his cell. The two terminated at 2.43. I'll tell Mum you won't be home for Christmas. What is this? It looks like he just melts the drugs down, goes up through the pipes and into his brain. Don't look at work anymore. Yeah, well, I've modified it. Yeah, I melted the drug down. A few pipes and systems and shit. You can combine it with whatever the fuck you got there. Melted it down, you know steam. Shouldn't be that hard to follow. You know, I hear a lot of rumors lately about a new specific drug. You mean the one your detective friend was around here looking for? The very same. What did he call it? Europia Social. Europia Opium. Hard Rock. Hard Rock. And that's what the street time for it is. Everyone's got a street time. Ah, uh, you want it, you got it. You've been my informant. When all the shit went down with my wife, you helped me out. You help me with my cravings. You help me. Yes. So you at least let me in. Let me in. This must be what's been keeping him sane. Well, not any more sacks. Your ass is mine. What's going on, Sax? What's going on? You tell me! You barge into my cell, my lovely accommodation. You're the one with the questions. I've got no answers. I've just had some fucking guy break me for ten fucking minutes. Look, people have died, I'm here to investigate. Oh, no, boo fucking who? I've heard it all before. People have died. Sex, sex, it's all on you, sex. Oh, solve the fucking case. That's what I've been trying to do. But people like you from fucking narcotics have been impeding my investigation, so... I got chosen for this investigation, Sax. I'm here to get your story. <sighs> my story's a long one. Do you really have the time? I've got all the time in the world right now, Sax. Well, I don't. I want out of here. Get me out of here. If you can't help me, then 
fuck off. Look, if you give me the answers I need, we'll, I'll see what I can do. Answers. Answers. You've been looking for answers since the beginning. You're not on my side. I thought you were, but you're not on my side. I've been tracking you. I've known your whereabouts. <laughs> Pills and everything. You know everything, don't you? So, what's stopping you from going straight to the chief and handing my ass on a silver platter? I'll tell you. It's because you know that I'm a well established police officer. I've been on the force for seven years. If you go to the chief with this cockamamie story, who do you think she's going to believe, huh? And you, you've been every crime scene. You've been to all the places I've been to. I could easily twist that, ravel that around that to my needs. And you, you sir, you will be in a new frame. You will be seen in a new light as the killer. And then I'll walk out of here scot-free. And you, you will be in a cell block. Shining some guy's ass. <laughs> but enough talk, because I'm fucking sick of it. What I want to ask you. Come, come. Just want to ask you this, this one question. Now, are you are you willing to help me? That's all I'm saying. I'm, I, I, I won't get you in shit with the chief, I promise. If you can help me, that is. Well, of any way I can, Slax. One more question. If I was to ask you if you were to uphold the law to its fullest and that you would serve justice, would you, would you see this case to the bitter end? Would you just stop at nothing to find who the killer is? Yes, Slax. I will, sir. I will look and I will make justice prevail. That's, that's, that's a damn shame that you said that. It's a damn shame. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, never mind, never mind. There's always one. Anybody home?
forgetting it's Halloween tonight. I'm out of work. Yeah. Have you got a costume? No. Right, oh, I thought you were. Okay. No, I don't like presents. Oh, come on. You'll like this. Ready? Here you go. What the fuck is this shit? It's for costume tonight. You're forgetting we're going to a masquerade. You want me to wear this? Yes, and it's masquerade. I wasn't going to let you turn up with me without a fucking costume. Okay, okay. Do you like it?